Hi, I'm Tam. And I'm Bobby. And welcome to our adventures. Good morning. It is day 134 and we are in the town of Fu Mai, which is the port we would get to if we're going to go to Ho Chi Minh, but that's an hour and a half bus ride each way. And so we're going to stay in Fu Mai and see what's here today. Hopefully find a nail salon and maybe a, a place where Tam can get a cheap haircut. And it's a container port. We're just pulling in now, so they're setting up the lines. Good thing about a container port is they're going to have to shuttle us out of the port to yeah, something. The front of the port is just over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, it literally is. There's nothing there. And there's nothing there. There's absolutely nothing at the front of the port, so uh, we'll see what happens. Off the ship and on the shuttle bus in Fu Mai. I don't really know where the shuttle is taking us, but we'll find out. Wherever it goes, we'll deal with that. <laughs> A lady said to the port gate, but I think it'll take us to the town. Yeah. Good morning. We'll see. Good morning. Cool. When I go back, you can check it. Okay. Oh, wow. So we're visiting a Vietnamese grocery store. We have a crew snacks and really cute chopsticks. And um, yeah. And a pizza hut in the grocery store. And there's a pizza hut. Back on the shuttle, got my nails done. Also got my toenails done, the same color. And many petty was um, $40. Uh, gave her a little more. I gave her 50 or something like that. But it was a uh, really nice experience. Did a good job. And now we're heading back to the ship. Good morning. It is day 135 and we are sailing towards Singapore. We've got a nice sea day today. It's a beautiful day. Look at the very sunny, it's hot, it's warm. <clears throat> We're getting close to the equator though we stay north of the equator. We don't cross it yet. We'll, we'll cross it uh, next time as we head towards Africa. So that's our next equator crossing, but it's a good um, sea day. That's what we're doing. We're going to have a relaxing day. Singapore custom heading to our bus. We're heading to the bus for our excursion. All the way down to the end, I think we're off. Uh, my name is Michelle, and I'm going to be your tour guide 
uh, for half day tour this morning. The building that is green in color. Uh, this is actually a private housing. We call them the condominium. The uh, so called landed property out in Singapore uh, in this area are of a lot higher prices. Anyone who wants to keep your, anyone who's a shopaholic uh, busy and happy, yeah, you can send them down to Orchard Road, give them the credit cards. Gonna add bonus points. So, uh, um, some of these malls are interconnected in the base. And uh, well, as a child, I never liked to come down to Orchard Road. Uh, my friends would. Uh, so I always get lost in Orchard Road, and it's kind of like a spell. When you get through from the train station out of Orchard Station, you go into the mall. You can't find your way out until you start spending some money. And then voila, you find yourself. Alright, second stop. Little India? I think you're going to guess. And we're walking. Elephants. Because it measures off an average of about um, very, very bright and very, very contrasting. You can have yellow and purple, and yeah. So there are a lot of little cows out around here, which uh, and, and that elephants, which they will actually paint at one time, and then we actually lay them out uh, in the open space here, just as a form of art decoration. Um, and the cow comes around where um, if we actually go past a temple that is dedicated to Shiv Shiva, Lord Shiva, the destroyer of all evil. And on the right hand side, again compare the different architecture, you will see that there are some with so-called the Malay East, uh, they, these are wooden planks with that is in the shape of a leaf, and then they've got kind of dots, and then we've got the Chinese roofs out there as well, the one that that's in green. So the green roofs comes around where these uh, green so-called uh, uh, pillars or columns they are to resemble bamboo or represent bamboo, and that's because. Bamboo represents perseverance. So this is basically passing from uh, generations down where Kampong Glam was actually a exchange point between the Middle Eastern traders and the pilgrimage followers in the south. Uh, on the outside it looks like beehive uh, and the function for duo is basically officers family bought over the house and then converted it into a Later on, it was named after the founder of modern Singapore, Sir Stanley Raffles. So the Raffles Hotel has gone through some form of renovation books. And of course, one of the highlights would be if you've been a fan of Michael Jackson, he was like a permanent uh, guest here at one time. And he actually had a room book for him throughout the year. Charlie Chaplin used to be a hotel guest here as well. Rudyard Kipling, Kipling, if you are into literature, was also a hotel guest. Benedictine Dome, Cherry Brandy, Contreu, uh, and then you have Ongarusura Bitter, Pineapple Juice, Lime Juice, and Granite Syrup. So, pretty much on the sweet side. Again, to attract the ladies at that point of time. Why do you like this? I thought he, he might have thought in further. You know, ladies, we are all very. Singapore, their turnaround day, so we did the four cultures excursion.
this is like stop number three, which is the Esplanade Mall at Waterfront, with the all the some people call the surfboard background for the three towers. And, uh, it's a beautiful view. It's a beautiful day. Anyway, I think next is Chinatown. That's the last place I think. It's hot. Got Magnum ice creams. Ice coffees. And I'm to change color now. And one of the reasons why we just decided on these tiles for the new Supreme Court. Um, now, left hand side here, this is the old Supreme Court built in the year 1938. Corinthian style. Look at the Corinthian columns as well. As so, we're entering into the other ethnic quarter, and that would be Chinatown. So on this stretch here of Chinatown is where you will find four seasons of worship lying almost side by side. So right here on the uh, green, uh, the right here green building is an Indian Muslim mosque. About two doors now we have the oldest Hindu temple in Singapore, the Sri Mariaman Hi. Temple. The bananas that hang outside of the temple means that there will be a wedding going on because bananas represent co continuity. So the Hindu temple, as well as the Muslim mosque, to enter, uh, we will have to remove our shoes. There are two shelves outside of the place of worship. Um, and if you are wearing shorts uh, or anything that's sleeveless, they've got uh, what we call sarong, pieces of cloth for you to put around to go in. Our last stop is uh, Chinatown. It's also Buddhist temple, Hindu temple, Christian temple, mosque, there are all kinds of stuff right in this area. So we're going to walk for a little bit and then probably go back to the bus and relax. Thank you. 